this is just kind of a, an interesting intersection to sort of observe the uh, evolution of the neighborhood and sort of different um, uh, theories in, in urban planning. So we have the, uh, the um, 19th century uh, tenement buildings, which um, certainly there are many, many blocks of looking exactly like this uh, around New York City, and we see um, kind of later development with um, the uh, development of the luxury apartment buildings on Park Avenue. And then really right behind me, um, uh, mid 20th century um, thoughts on uh, on urban planning with uh, the NYCHA housing, where it has a very different kind of orientation to the street and is really kind of more sculptural than focusing on um, uh, its relationship to the sidewalk or um, to its surroundings. And then many other blocks farther north with similar orientation um, uh, with the, the tower in the park. And then we kind of have, I suppose, the ways we have the future where we have new um, uh, apartment buildings which are being constructed on uh, Lexington Avenue. Um, I mentioned uh, a recent proposal by Mount Sinai uh, for an apartment building on 102nd Street that we opposed to the Board of Standards and Appeals, and that's actually the apartment building right there. So, um, so it's directly across the street from the Conservatory Garden in, uh, in Central Park. And, um, definitely is now sort of starting to form the skyline of, uh, of um, Upper Fifth Avenue. So, uh, and, and it's also interesting that that building, uh, I was talking about the Park Improvement District and how that regulates building heights on Fifth Avenue and Park Avenue, and that building is located just outside of the Park, Ave the Park Improvement District, so that's why it's not really subject to those uh, specific um, zoning requirements. And so Civitas has been very involved with zoning initiatives uh, on the Upper East Side in East Harlem uh, throughout their history. And so we're actually currently looking at a zoning, a rezoning proposal uh, for an area farther north of this, working with the community to bring in what's called contextual zoning. So where um, avenues are zoned differently than mid blocks and um, buildings have uh, uh, specific kind of guidelines uh, to encourage their, you know, contextual scale and relationship with their neighborhood. So, um, so we don't have sort of this um, chock-a-block development, which sometimes many feel kind of degrades the, the character of a neighborhood. So I think with that, we'll walk down to Third Avenue, which is